Carol back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the upcoming Steamboat Willie event. So one of the questions I've been asked quite a few times now is why on earth is Steamboat Willie coming into the kingdom? Well, it's because it's Mickey and Minnie's 90th anniversary. 90th! I can't believe that 90 years ago Walt Disney came up with Mickey Mouse. That is absolutely insane. So as we saw in that little trailer right there that um, that is what Steamboat Willie Mickey is going to look like. We also saw Pete in there as well. We saw the Steamboat attraction and um, we saw a little bit of the concession as well which I'm going to talk to you guys about in this video. Now I will be doing my gameplay in between that and the dialogue so just be patient and and I will give you guys all of the details um, as I said throughout the video. So when is this event gonna start? Well it is starting Wednesday November 14th and it is going until November 23rd so coming very very soon so I'm very excited about that. Now how are we going to be able to get these costumes? Well we are going to be able to get these costumes by collecting tokens every single day by logging into the calendar to collect Mickey's classic outfit. Now Bullseye is now level seven. Wow, this is crazy. And we've got Oogie. I couldn't even get in because, because do you know what? He had sitting on his doorstep a citronella candle. <laughs> Quest complete. No, that's just low. Even for Jack. <laughs> Poor Oogie Boogie. Okay, so as I said, we are going to be collecting these uh, tokens for the fabric um, every single day by logging in. I don't think there is any other way to collect them, but that's all they've said so far. So as long as you log in every day, you should be able to get Mickey's classic outfit. Jafar. Nothing. No enchanted baubles, no rings of power, not a single magical amulet. Only one exceedingly angry tiger. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to purchase a new robe. This one is unfortunately shredded. Quest complete. Fountain of Sleuth. If only I had my magic. Poor black silk weren't so expensive. <laughs> Poor Jafar, he's a mess right now. So the Steamboat Willie content is going to be permanent content. If you guys aren't able to collect all of the fabric for Mickey's outfit, you will be able to buy it in Merlin's shop for elixirs after November 23rd. So that's really great. I don't know how much it's gonna be, they haven't said yet, but I'm assuming it's gonna be around the same price as uh, Toy Alien's ears hat and his claw and stuff like that. So it should be about um, anywhere between 350 elixirs and maybe 500, but we'll have to wait and see um, until after the 23rd. And I will give you guys an update on that once the event is over. So the other big question is, how are we going to be able to collect Minnie and Pete's classic costumes? Well, Mickey helps. So you need to make sure that you collect everything for Mickey and have him wearing his classic outfit, and then he will be able to go and collect fabric. So I have a feeling it's gonna be kind of like Davy Jones. Um, once you collect him, you can collect the fabrics for Jack Sparrow's coat and the pirate costumes and stuff like that. So I have a feeling it's gonna be something similar to that idea. Now, I don't know if Minnie and Pete's fabrics are going to turn up in Merlin's shop, but we will have to see. Now, the one thing I am pretty excited about is collecting the character tokens for Mickey, Minnie, and Pete again, because someone like Mickey, I haven't collected any character tokens for him in ages, so I haven't seen his ears hat or anything, but we will be collecting those old character tokens, so we will be seeing them back again um, for our characters to collect for the costume, so that is actually something that um, it's a small detail but something that I am really looking forward to for sure now if you guys are wondering about the actual steamboat attraction and how to get it well I'm going to answer that question for you right now it is going to be in platinum chests only so if you guys want to get that steamboat you're gonna have to open platinum chests. so if you guys want me to try and get that I will make the attempt to do that in a video maybe I'll open a 
a platinum chest pack for you guys. Uh, just give me some feedback in the comments below if you guys would like to see that in my kingdom. Now in terms of the new concession, this is something that is going to be limited time only. So this is called a premium time limited concession stand, or at least that's what it was called in the live stream. So we are going to be able to, I'm assuming, buy it before the 23rd. So um, I'm not sure if it's going to be for real money or it's going to be gems or real money. We'll just sort of have to wait and see about that. But we know that it is going to be something uh, that is only going to be available um, until November 23rd. Now there is another way to get the Steamboat Willie attraction and I will tell you guys about that in just a second here. Nick Wilde is now level 6. Nice. Now any chance you could bump up my pay too? <laughs> Funny guy. So the best way to try and get the Steamboat Willie attraction, um, if you guys really want it and weren't able to participate in the live stream by answering the questions correctly, um, you will be able to try and get it this way, is if you subscribe to Disney Magic Kingdom's newsletter, now this is a new thing as far as I know, but if you sign up to their newsletter, you will be able to have a chance to actually get this new attraction. So I believe they're picking a winner at random. I believe it's only one, but I think it's going to be really, really cool that they're going to be doing that if you weren't able to participate in the live stream. So I wasn't able to watch it at the time today because I was busy. So I am definitely going to be trying to collect it by subscribing to the newsletters. Mother Gothel is now level four. Oh, to be young again. <laughs> Rapunzel, let down your hair. Mother, what are you doing here? Oh, are you still sore about our fight? Don't worry, I forgive you. But I've had quite a journey to get back to you. and I need a little beauty sleep. Mother's Day, part one. Send Mother Gothel to get some rest at Rapunzel's Tower. Oh my goodness. Keeping house, so 12 hours, so she is off to do that. Christopher Robin, and that is where Kanga and Rue come from. Though they got here in the usual way, of course. And then there's Winnipeg. That's near to the North Pole. We must have walked right by it in our expedition. I beg your pardon, Christopher Robin, but did you say Winnipeg? Because I rather like the sound of that. <laughs> I thought you would. Quest complete, a bear abroad. There are bears in Winnipeg too. I wonder if any of them are your friends and relations. That is a good question, Christopher Robin, but we don't have the answer for that. Okay, so that is pretty much everything in terms of the brand new update that is coming to the kingdom on Wednesday, November 14th. I'm assuming that event will start at 11 a.m. Um, once the calendar reward is available. But again, we'll sort of have to wait and see on that. But I would assume that is when they are going to start it. Now, until then, um, I have been told by you guys, the Shimmery Shiny leaderboard event that has around three days left actually is for Goofy's pirate costume. So I actually kind of now feel bad even participating in this because I'm like, I want all of you guys to have a chance to collect that for your kingdom. Now, I already have it uh, from the leaderboard event last time they had it released, so I kind of wouldn't have known that beforehand because, yeah, they don't actually tell you what the other reward is, like the possible reward. So, unfortunately, guys, I didn't know this going into it, but um, I do have the chance to collect some gems, so it's not all bad um, for me to make an attempt at this. But I, now I, that I know that, I'm definitely not going to be focusing on this leaderboard for sure. I know I was number two, but you know what? I think I don't mind sort of letting other people sort of go ahead of me for a chance to win that. Now... Again, I get a chance to open a platinum chest, so that is really awesome, but 
uh, the Steamboat Willie stuff will not be in that until Wednesday. So unfortunately, I will miss the boat on trying to collect the Steamboat Willie attraction. So again, just something I'm going to have to wait for. So you know what I was really surprised about, guys, is in the chest right now, the lamp posts have actually come back um i was only getting character tokens there for a while um but now i have noticed a couple of times that the uh hanging lamp post has actually come back mother gothel ah oh, now i feel refreshed mother i want you to tell me right now why did you come back look how assertive my little flower has become. I've come back to make amends, my dear. Oh, flower bundle has come up. Sweet scent of the forest. So flower and 100 gems I can get in the shop. Now that is something I would like to do at some point very soon, but I'm definitely not doing that today. Mother's Day part one. She might be more assertive, but let's hope she's just as naive. Yeah, I hope so for your sake. Ah, here it is. Sign up to our newsletter for a chance to win. So there you go, guys. You can click right there. And uh, it says winners will be contacted Monday, November 12th to find out if you have actually won or not. Now, that is new information to me um, right now. So November 12th, guys, we have the possibility to get the Steamboat Willie attraction early into our kingdom which is so so cool so you know what i know it's kind of like winning a little lottery there but uh, that would be a pretty cool little lottery to win i have to say fingers crossed for me guys fingers crossed here is judy hops judy hops is now level eight i will keep this city safe you can count on it we can always trust you, Judy. Our first officer in the kingdom. Actually, you know what would be really cool is if Nick Wilde had an officer costume. I think he actually deserves it, you know? That could be something that they could add into the kingdom um, once you've maybe leveled him up to like level 10 or something. Like, just something else with a storyline to work on. All right, so I think that is everything I'm going to be doing for my kingdom right now. So, thanks for watching another Disney Girls Disney's Magic Kingdoms game video. Make sure to subscribe, hit the little bell for post notifications as I try and get all of the Steamboat Willie costumes and obviously the new concession and attraction. So, there's going to be lots of stuff going on in the kingdom. Also, to stay tuned to find out more about the Wreck It Ralph event, which is apparently coming to the kingdom obviously sometime after we've done the Steamboat Willie. So it'll be after November 23rd. So I am really looking forward to that. So that'll be around probably the time um, of the movie's release, which will be really cool to find out more information about that. So anyways, you guys will have to wait and find out more information. But if you guys want to watch my prediction video on what I think is coming to the kingdom for Wreck-It Ralph, I already have done it, um, I guess, couple weeks ago now so you guys can always check out that video if you guys are really big Wreck-It Ralph fans and want to know what could be coming to Disney's Magic Kingdoms. All right so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys for the next one.